Welcome to Chapter 1, The Basics of Web Design. Before heading into Section 1-2, let us remember that our essential outcomes for this chapter is to explore the internet world from the perspective of a web designer, and that is your ability to break apart components of the URL, um, creating web pages using the basic, basic HTML shell, um, and eventually you'll get into inserting images. Welcome to section 1-2, the HTML shell. The HTML shell. The first line of any web page will have the doc type. The doc type tells the browser what form of HTML you are using. In this case, we are using HTML 5.0. So on the first line, we would use the left angle with an exclamation point, followed by doc type all in caps, then a space, and then in lowercase HTML, closed out with a right angle. You will find the left and right angles or the greater than signs um, to the right of your M key on the keyboard. The next part of the shell would be the head section. The head section speaks only to the browser. Inside the head section, you will put in the title HTML tag. The um, title tag names the browser tab. So when you open up a browser and you look at the tab, usually can tell the name of the website or the page that you're on. That is what the title tag does. Following the closing head tag, you will put in the body tag, the opening and closing body tag. And the body tag is where you put all the information that you want displayed on your web page. You will end the website after the closing body tag with a slash HTML. This ends the coding for the HTML website and it tells the browser to stop reading this document in HTML. Writing HTML code. In HTML, we have paired tags. Paired tags have an opening and a closing tag. The closing tag starts with a slash. All the information you want to appear on your, on your page goes between the opening tag and the closing tag. For example, we have our opening head tag and our closing head tag. Now we know from the previous slide that we would put the title tag in between the head opening head tag and the closing head tag. We also have the opening body tag and the closing body tag. These are paired tags. They have two separate opening and closing tags. A single tag, or what they call a closed tag, is a tag that only has an opening tag. The closing tag is included in the opening tag. Um, for example, if we look at the image tag, we will see that we have the opening, uh, the opening tag, the IMG, followed by a space, and then the closing part of it comes with the slash and the right angle. All codes use lowercase letters. You never use any capitaliz capitalized letters except in the doc type. Website versus web page. A website houses all of the web pages for one site. A web page is only one page within a website. Every website needs its own folder with the name of the site. If you are working on two websites, you need a folder for each site. Inside each website folder, you need an image folder for that website. Websites do not share image folders.
Notepad++ is the software that, software that we're going to be using to write HTML coding for websites in this class. Um, when you are asked, um, request the software folder for Notepad++ from your teacher. You will copy and paste the Notepad software folder to your Web Design 1 folder. When you are done, your folder should look as follows. You should have Chapter 1 folder and then also have a Notepad++ folder. Opening up Notepad++. To open um, Notepad++, double click on the Notepad folder and then scroll down until you see the Notepad++.exe file. Then just go ahead and double click on that and your software will open. The first thing you need to do when you go into Notepad++ is turn on your word wrap. Why? Word wrap will allow you to see all the information on one page. If you don't turn on the word wrap and you have a very long paragraph, it will look in Notepad as like one line or one sentence and you won't be able to see the entire paragraph. So to turn on your um, word wrap, you will click on view on your menu bar. A drop down menu will appear and then scroll down until you see word wrap and just make sure there is a check mark in front of the word wrap so that you know that it's been turned on. Color coding in Notepad++. One of the great new features in programming is what we call color coding. In other words, different codes um, are color coded differently. When I first started using Notepad++, there was no such thing as color coding. So trying to find your errors in your document using HTML was very difficult. With color coding, trying to find mistakes is much easier. So the color coding in Notepad++ is important to know. If I look at um, the color blue, I am going to see all of my HTML tags. In this case, all my URL, li image tags and my heading tags are all in blue if they don't show up in blue then i have done made some kind of mistake um, purple in notepad plus plus is used for paths and for property names so if i look at the purples that are being selected i have my image path following also the file name which is a pro um, property name um, also image the pixels 250 are all part of the property names. I also have red for HTML, HTML property values such as SRC, ALT, WI, or width, and height. All property values have an equal sign that follow it. Coding for Notepad++ always start your coding on line one and line one will always have the doc type remember the doc type will tell the browser what type of html you are using in this case this doc type indicates that we're using html 5.0 5.0 make sure you leave one blank space between each code the reason for this is that um, since you are new programmers, it's very important that you be able to see and identify mistakes um, easily. So by separating your codes will help you in searching for mistakes. Never use all caps and never capitalize any part of the coding except for doc type. Information that you want displayed on your web page, follow all the normal grammar and punctuation rules that you would use in your English class. How do you save an HTML document? Um, websites need to be saved as HTML documents. In other words, they need an extension, extension called .html. In Notepad++, 
If you click on the File tab and select Save As, and then give it the document a file name, and then under Save As Type, you can type. You need to select Hypertext Markup Language. That's what HTML stands for. So you need to make sure that it saves it as an HTML document. Once you do that, then you can just click Save, and then your document um, should be saved as an HTML document. One of the ways that you know that this document is saved in HTML is that once you have coded everything and you save it, all of the color should appear. Um, all your color coding, your purple coding, your red, your blue, that all should show up as HTML coding. If it doesn't, it means you did not save your document correctly. How do I view my created web page? After writing your HTML code in Notepad++, you're going to want to view what your page actually looks like. To do this, you will go to the tab called Run on your menu bar, and then you're going to scroll down until you see Launch in Chrome. Um, after you've looked at it in Chrome, then you want to make sure you open this up in two other browsers to make sure your pages all look the same and that they're all functioning correctly. You can use Launch in Firefox, Launch in um, Internet Explorer, or Launch in Safari. Um, what other two you use is purely up to you. But always make sure you check. All right, I have created my web page and I've saved it. And now I have exited out of Notepad++. How do I access my created page so that I can edit or modify the HTML document? First, um, I need to go to where I have saved the document. Um, all HTML documents show up under the Chrome icon or the last, the icon of the last browser that you used. In this case, if you notice, I have the Chrome um, icon. I'm going to right click on the Chrome icon and I will get a drop down menu. I want to select Edit with Notepad++ and this should open up my HTML document for editing. You have just finished at, um, section 1-2. Go to your Chapter 1 folder. You're going to create a folder inside your Chapter 1 folder called My First Web Page. Make sure you have received the apps for Notepad++. You should have a folder on your flash drive. And Notepad++ should be inside your Web Design folder. Open up Notepad++. Make sure you have a new document open. Save your document as an HTML document with the file name first underscore website.html. Then using your HTML codes, you're going to create a HTML shell. Between the opening and closing body tag, add the text, Hello World. Resave your document. Launch your website using Google Chrome, and then re run the website in two other browsers of your choosing. Resave your HTML document. When you have finished, call me over to review your work. You have just finished section 1-2. It is now time to make sure that I've previewed your work and then go on to section 1-3.